Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GTR. Um, I have an update on my old, my old Fiat 500. Um, so if you don't know, I sold my Fiat 500 to CarMax about like three or four months ago. And uh, I sold it to them for about $4,400. That's what they offered me. And I still stand by the fact that that is a fair price for my car. It had about 67,000 miles on it. And it was a 2013 Fiat Pop, so like the lower end model. Anyways, uh, they offered me 4400 for it. Um, I took it, I took the money, and I ran. And I said, thank you very much. And I went and bought a Pontiac Solstice with it. But that's not the point of this video point of this video is I followed up on where that car ended up and here's here's where the car ended up it ended up at a, a small used car dealership down in Connecticut and I can't remember the name of the town right now but I'll pop up the link right right here so you can see the actual car um, but they're selling it for get this nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars <laughs> which I think is a little overpriced but given the car market these days I guess that's what Fiat 500s are going for especially one that is so well taken care of like mine clearly the prices are skewed these days but then again this is a very good clean example of a Fiat 500 with low miles and it's a five-speed so I guess it's kind of, that's just kind of where the prices are at. I don't think I would buy a Fiat 500 for that much, especially one that wasn't the Abarth version, because, you know, that's just a lot more fun. But it is what it is, and I'm happy to see it again. Um, hopefully somebody, you know, somebody who cares about these kind of cars buys it and keeps it as pristine and as maintained as I did. It's just kind of interesting to see like where a car you sell ends up and how much they end up selling it for. I always um, try to do that whenever I get rid of a car to a, you know, to a dealer. Um, I like to see how much they put it up for and what they do to it to, uh, you know, to make it sellable. Um, specifically for this Fiat, I remember giving them a spare tire with a jack and lug nuts and everything. And I said like, look, this car didn't come with a spare when I bought it, but I purchased a spare and the jack and all the stuff you need to change a tire out when you uh, have a flat tire. And from the looks of it, from the ad, I don't see that spare or the jack or anything. So they probably just said, you know what? This car doesn't come with a spare. That's how we're selling it. Take it all out. And uh, yeah, it's interesting to see that they did that. Anyway, so there it is. My Fiat's for sale for about 10 grand. If you, if you live in Connecticut and you're looking for a Fiat, that is the one to buy. <laughs> I can vouch for that one. It is good and clean and, and ready for action. So I wonder how much CarMax got at the auction for the car. So if they gave me $4,400 for it, I'm guessing they probably sold it at auction for like, I don't know, seven, seven and a half. Oh, I'll be priceless to know that information. I, I don't have access to that kind of stuff, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that would be kind of neat to know. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be seven and a half, something like that. And then this dealer goes ahead and, you know, jacks up the price to about 10 grand. Which, you know, like I said, in this market right now, for a car, that, for a car like that, that's that clean, eh, I guess that's what it is. So very interesting to see the progression of how much I got for it and where it ended up and how much they're they're charging for it so pretty interesting um anyways thank you for watching as always uh, i think we just hit the 200 subscriber mark so that is very cool very very cool to everyone who subscribes um we, we appreciate your your time and uh hope to bring you more content in 2022 so yeah as always uh buckle up put down that phone and enjoy the drive we'll see you on the next one